Three, two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation? On the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Sunday, January the 22nd. Arr, and this month is going by really fast, huh, bud? And for a workout today, for an exercise today, I'm going to do an exercise called the Reverse Plank. Now, I demonstrated different types of planks before on this show before. I, I demonstrated the regular plank, the side plank. And today, I'm going to demonstrate the reverse plank. And it's an exercise that, I'm, that I um, that I haven't, that I, that I just learned to do myself not too long ago. And I noticed for me, it requires more flexibility in the back of your shoulders and your traps in that area. And it's a very good exercise. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate the reverse plank and I'm going to demonstrate a couple of variations of doing the reverse plank. If you're like me and you're, you're just you're like your shoulders aren't just, you're just not that flexible and you're not used to doing this exercise. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate this exercise with some, with some variations with my, my uh, knees bent and, and one foot flat on the floor to, it makes the exercise a little, it doesn't make it, it makes it easier, but it's like if you're, if you're not very flexible in the back of your shoulders, your upper back, your traps, it, it makes it uh, less challenging until, you know, you progressively get more and more flexible in this exercise and you can do, you can do the, the reverse plank with your, with your legs straight, but it's a very good exercise and I will demonstrate this exercise and Bud, you can spot me from the other room and I know Bud wants some camera time. And I took him for a walk yesterday. It's been unseasonably warm in uh, the Western New England area. We haven't got much snow. So the sidewalks are, they're, they're dry, which is nice because I can take Buddy for a walk. Usually in January, mid-January, there's so much snow on the ground around here. It's difficult for Buddy to, uh, to go for walks. Not huh, Buddy. Gets buried in the snow. But we haven't really got much snow this year. Um, but... Hopefully it'll stay that way for a while, huh, oh, bud? <laughs> All right, so without further ado, I will demonstrate the reverse plank. And bud, you can spot me from the other room. And then bud, he's pretty cozy on my lap. <laughs> and another thing I, I'd like to do is, is do more, because I basically demonstrated a lot of weight training exercises, all the basic lifts, the barbell, dumbbell lifts. And basically another uh, chapter I'd like to demonstrate is doing a lot of like stretching exercises in between lifting. I think it's very important to, to stretch properly because it helps heal your muscles faster. So you can train them so you can get into training them again and again. Like for example, if you're doing squats or benching or whatever, it's, it's good to know certain stretching exercises to heal the, the muscles that you work um, while you're weight training. And in, if you're doing those stretching exercises, it heals the muscles faster. That way there you can go and train them again uh, sooner. That's the whole purpose, right, bud? So uh, possibly in future videos, I'll demonstrate um, some stretching exercises because stretching is also very good for you as well. And stretching is very important to increasing uh, your strength and your, your flexibility. It's very important to stretch properly and know how to stretch properly. So I'll probably get into doing some stretching videos in the future. So look forward to, to those. And Bud, I will put you in the other room while I demonstrate this exercise. Oh, <laughs> and you want to face the camera because you want your, you want your fans to see your face and not your butt, right Bud? <laughs> I'll get one more view of Bud before I demonstrate the reverse plank, which is a very good exercise. It works a lot of muscles that you probably might miss in a, in a typical weight training routine. Alright, so basically the reverse lunge or not the reverse lunge, the reverse plank is just like doing a plank, except you are facing a different direction. You're planking when you plank, your face it's almost like you're doing a push-up. You're you're facing the floor. Reverse plank, you're facing the ceiling. 
All right, so basically to do the reverse plank, you wanna basically get to sit with your, with your legs straight out in front of you and your hands behind your back and basically lift your butt up off the floor and hold for about a minute or so. And as you can see, my body, I'm not, my, my back isn't that flexible. So it almost looks like I'm doing a dip because typically to do the, the reverse plank, you want, you want your body to be almost parallel to the floor, something like this, where your hips up higher. But I'm, I'm just not that flexible, mostly because of the backs of my shoulders. I can't, I don't have the flexibility in the backs of my shoulders to do that properly. So when I do the reverse plank, it almost looks like I have like an L shape on my, my body. So I'm like this, but I'm still working those muscles. But eventually I like to get my hips up higher off the floor. If that makes any sense, my hips up higher. But I know the higher I raise my hips, the more it's, the more, uh, it puts a, a, a stress on the back of my shoulders and the back of my shoulders just aren't that, that flexible because I'm not used to doing this exercise. So if you're like that, where you have the backs of your shoulders, where your traps are, it's really tight. You might want to use, take one foot that's put one foot flat on the floor. That way you can raise your hips up a little higher and raise one foot off the floor like this and hold for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or to a minute. And I'll tell you, you can really feel when you're doing this exercise, you can really feel the the muscles in the back of your shoulders working and flexing and stretching. So it's really increasing flexibility in the backs of my shoulders. And I notice that's where I'm probably really tight in the back of my shoulders. And basically that's, this is my variation of the, the reverse plank. I got one foot flat on the floor, the other foot stretched out. And you want to hold for about a, yeah, 30 seconds to a minute. And you can really feel the backs of your, the muscles in the back of your shoulders working and stretching and flexing. And that is a really good exercise for strengthening and toning, not just your lower back, but mostly, well, depending on where you are, how flexible you are and where your strengths and weaknesses are physically. With me, it's just, I just notice the backs of my shoulders, they're just, I just don't have much flexibility back there. And that's probably from doing bench pressing and heavy barbell rows. The, my muscles back there are thick and dense and they're just not that flexible. It's probably from doing all the bodybuilding exercises, but it is a very good exercise. And it's an exercise you can do within, within your, your flexible, your flexibility. Do it within your flexibility, if that makes sense. And uh, basically the, 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 the reverse plank with two feet on the floor something looks something like this. The only difference is you might want to try to bring your hips up as high as you can comfortably. And, and again, hold this position for about a minute or so. And again, you can feel the muscles in your triceps working and the backs of your shoulders flexing. And it's a really good exercise to do. It's a good exercise to give it a try. It's called the reverse plank, just the opposite of the, the regular plank when you're facing the floor. Remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember to keep training, keep taking those walks and subscribe to Travels with Buddy too. Don't forget to subscribe to Travels with Buddy. All right, everybody, have an awesome day. Have an awesome Sunday. Keep training. Try doing those reverse planks and peace out.